Hi, welcome back to Repairing Law Most for Profit. I want to film this, I've just picked this up. You might have seen from the uh, the thumbnail I used there. Someone's left a, a SRAP lawnmower out. It's on the side of the road just as I went past. Um, and I was walking, so I kind of just got it and walked home with it. It's just on the side of the road, but um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to say SRAP. But anyway, this is uh, a mess, but it's completely free. So... I'm going to probably break this down for space because the deck looks like a mess. We'll take this tape off and have a look. I thought it would be a bit of fun if I just uh, tried to get this running. Let's see what we can do. But I just thought I'd show you around it first. But the blade's on alright. I've checked that. Obviously this plug looks like it's been in forever. So I've not tried it. I haven't even looked to see if there's any fuel in it. This air filter box is on the wrong way. There's like a different, some sort of bolt through there. So someone's had a play about. But I thought it would be quite interesting to do this kind of first hand and let's see if it starts up so I'm going to put some fuel in there and I'm putting that back on and then I'm going to try and start this up you just never know do you I mean it's free I can either sell this and just get a bit of money for it if I can get it running someone might just want it for an allotment or something like that that happens quite a lot I've got the grass bag with it um I don't think it's got a self drive on anyway I don't think so you know on the side of the road it's you know it's free even the cables I could sell I could break this down and make 30 40 pounds just for spares easily which I might do, but let's try and start this up. I've just dropped a bit of petrol in there. I've just um, taken this handle up as well. Oh, that feels rubbish. Um, let's just put that back where it was. Everything's really old and really messed up on here. But um, one thing I have noticed, I've just looked at this, is this pull cord. So it's kind of... I don't know why that's there. I don't know why it's out so far. But, uh, it feels like it might pull over, so I'll put my camera on a tripod and try and start it. But the problem I've got is I don't have a primer bulb. This primer bulb's kind of inverted, if you like. I might try and hook that back out, actually, but I'm not sure what's happened to that. Um, someone's obviously had a, a mess about with me. So let's just take this air filter box off, actually. It's really interesting to see if it runs. I've got a set of governor springs anyway, if nothing else. Look at these on eBay. These are about four or five pounds each, these. You know, there's a tenner there, potentially. That springs about. It's been bent forward a little bit. Someone's tried to speed it up. So let's put this camera on a tripod and let's um, try and start up this um, SRAP lawnmower. Definitely been tipped up as well. That's a classic sign of a, a lawnmower that's been tipped up um, or over by the looks of it. Right, let's give this a go. This could be uh, interesting. I'm not even sure if it'll pull over. I'm not sure what's happening with this cable at the top either. But uh, not, not exactly sure that this is going to release this kill switch on the back. I can't even move that. In fact, someone's sellotaped this. Let me show you this. This is this is something you just shouldn't do. I'll have to just take this off here. I'm wondering why this, this doesn't work, but look. Someone's actually sellotaped that along there just so they've not got to hold it. And if you do that, you defeated the safety device. It just means this lawnmower will keep running while you empty the box. But of course, it only takes someone to put the feet under here, like this. Or the hand in the back or anything, and you're going to have a real, really, really bad accident. Right, so let's try and start this. I can't prime it, so I'm just going to pull this over. And see what we get. Pull cord, look at this pull cord. It's about, it's about 10 foot long. Mm. Let's, uh, let's get this kind of easy starter for you. I'm going to try and take this spark plug out. If I can find my spark plug tool, it's probably in my really useful box. <laughs> oh, I can't find it. There we go. Take that out. And this plug do not look like it's ever been out, so let's hope this plug comes out. I'm going to spray some of this, uh, this Brad X Braid X easy start down here. See if we can get some fuel in here initially just to see if it'll actually show some signs of life. Let's take this off here, I bet this don't come out easily. Oh, not too bad at all. That don't look like it's ever been out of there. Yeah, it's very dry as well. It doesn't look like it's been run for a long time. It's actually nipped in really far as well. It's uh, There's not much of a gap actually there on that plug. But anyway, let's just uh, let's just try this. I'm going to spray some of this in here. What I'm trying to do is just get it to kind of kick or fire or backfire or, or anything at all. Just to see if we can get it into some sign of life. Put that in there. Quickly 
actually put this plug in. What I want it to do is pop or bang or anything, just so I know that there's a potential that it might run. You can see someone's messed about in here as well, can't you? This lead's a mess. And it's good fun, I like I like doing stuff like this. I like to see if I can get stuff running. It's scrap. You know, it's probably been sat in someone's shed for, I don't know, years. Let's give it another go. Perfectly running Briggs and Stratton petrol lawnmower free of charge. This is great. See, the problem with doing that with a handle is you can't stop this lawnmower, and I'm not suggesting you do this, but if you just put your foot over here, it just chokes it so much that it'll stop. Um, the, the way I got that going, obviously, I sprayed some of this easy start in this spark plug hole, and that didn't work. So I just tipped some in here, and I just tipped this lawnmower up slightly just to uh, let some quick start go down here. And luckily for me, it fired up, so it starts and runs alright. I bet no one's started that for ages, you know. So, if I can replace this primer bulb, and I can clean all this up, I think I can probably sell this. But, it all depends what's under this, this bit of tape here. If there's a massive hole in it, it's uh, going to be a bit, of a bit of a difficult sell, isn't it? So, it's not ideal, is it? You can tell. But you get a lot of people who just, you know, want one of these just to get them through a cutting season. You'd be surprised. But that deck is well and truly uh, rotted, hasn't it? You can see there, that's no good at all. So, um, I'll have to have a think about what to do with this, but I'm certainly not going to spend the time repairing that. So, it starts and runs. I've either got some parts, or I've got a, a lawnmower. If I put a primer bulb on, I can actually sell to somebody. And as you can see, this primer bulb's well and truly gone. It's all split and everything you can see there actually pull this off don't ever buy aftermarket parts like this by the way I'm not saying this is but you get these parts and you think that you know because it's only a primer bulb it'll all be all right but they're not designed to be stored in you know cold temperatures it's freezing in garages like this you know for months on end and they just don't last you can see this is just perished and it's no good whatsoever but um, the question for me is now is have I got a spare primer bulb so I'll have a look in the box in the garage and if I have I'll take this one off I'm going to swap this over I might just clean all this up as well see here this throttle don't work either by the way this cable don't work look and see what a mess that is but it's not a problem it just runs around here it runs around the front here right to there and all I'll do with that is I'll just take it off let's, uh, let's have a look up here it's a while since I've been here let's take this box of bits outside I do have a spare carburetor somewhere there, but that's one I use. This is uh, one I use just for testing lawnmowers when I get them in. I like to just bolt that on because I know that one works well. The question is now whether or not I have a spare primer bulb. But I've got uh, there's a bulb there, look. What might have to do? Let's try that. Let's see if there's any splits in it or anything. There's one there. Let's see if we can change the primer bulb over. And let's see if we can uh, start this lawnmower in the normal way just by pressing the primer bulb. The only difference there was I squirted some fuel in just to start it up. If I can get this swapped over, we can have a, a lawnmower that'll start and run properly. Right, so I've just dug this old primer bulb out here, just ripped it out with these pliers here. Um, and what you've got to do to get these primer bulbs out is there's actually two tabs here at the side here, one there and one there as well. 
And it's not really easy to do, but you've just got to push them from the side and kind of wiggle this whole thing out and the whole thing comes out and you can replace this bulb. So it's a bit difficult for me to film just at the minute, but all I'm going to do is just bend these out from the side, these little tabs, and this whole thing will pop out and I want to see if this little bulb um, will go back in. So I'm just kind of working this round here like this, you see? Oh, there's a little gap there. Just push this here there. And then swap hands and pull this here. Just kind of lever this out of here. Eventually this will just uh, wriggle out. You see how it's popping out there? I just want to hook this out of here. So I'll just hook that out. A bit difficult to do with one. I'm, not. I'm just going to hook that out of there. And we'll just replace this bulb. So all you do to replace this bulb is you just basically put this part back over the top like that and it looks like a clown's nose and you just uh, push it back in and these are the two little tabs I was talking about these just spring back open when you push it back in and uh, that primer bulb looks okay that's all working all right so that's a stroke of luck for me so it's really handy just to have a little box of bits so I wasn't expecting that I was expecting to have to strip one off a, a carburetor but there is one in there actually it's probably come off that one there anyway um, I'm going to clean this up a little bit just before I put that back in, I'm just going to spray around in there and clean that out and I'm going to push this primer bulb back on. And the way to check it works is when you press it, you'll actually see fuel being transferred from here. And it'll shoot across, I'll show you that in a minute. I've just set that off there. The easiest way to do this, if you've got a thin enough socket, is just to get a socket and just push it back. I'm not quite sure I've got one big enough, but if you get the idea, you put a socket in, you see there? You just push this back and eventually it'll go back in far enough. The, the tabs will align and this should start to prime. Yes, I've just tried a couple of these. I actually did take this one off, this other carb here. And, right, so I was just about to take all this off. I've just been getting some tools together to actually take this carburetor off. But um, I thought what I'd just do is I'd tip some more easy starting. I wish I'd filmed it now and leave it running for a bit and see if this carb kind of cleared itself up. So I've not done anything else. But if you look in here now, when I prime it, you can see the fuel. See how it shoots across? Ready? There, like that. That's what I wasn't doing before. Now, although this primer bulb is a bit slow, it's just because it's been sat for a long time, it's actually doing the job. So, as long as I'm getting fuel across there, I see no reason why this lawnmower won't start in the, uh, the correct way. So let's just put this on my tripod. Make sure there's nothing underneath this lawnmower as well before I start it open. You've had a few tools out. You don't want underneath it. So, I'll prime it a couple of times. I see it going across. that well it don't want to stop which they're all like that so I'm gonna uh, clean this up I'm gonna wash this off with a hose pipe I'm gonna put the grass bag on it and I'm just gonna put it on um, offers I'm just gonna put starts runs and cuts big hole in deck might get you through a cutting season <laughs> Right, so that starts and runs fine, it primes fine. Don't know why this uh, screw's not holding this air filter box in properly. I'm going to sort that out. I'm going to tighten these handles up a little bit. I'll put this back through there so it pulls over. What I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to take this throttle off as well. I might even just sell that as a spare. So if you've got someone who's got a really good one of these and the throttle cable's stretched, I might actually be able to sell these. Cables are really expensive. I bet if you price one of these cables up for this mower, it would be nearly £30. So I'm going to take that throttle cable off. All I'm going to do actually is just... Uh, Undo it from here. Let's see, that one's a bolt in as well. I'll do that. But I'm going to take this cable off. Never really worked real well on these Briggs mowers anyway. They're only really good on Honda, Hondas and higher priced mowers of these. They never work particularly well. And everyone just runs them at full speed anyway. So let's just take that off there. I'm going to unhook that. Let's see how it connects here. Don't lose that screw. And it just pulls through here. It just clips on there as well. I'll put that screw there and set this off here. There's no reason for this to be on really. 
not on most of this type of uh, model of lawnmower so it could be a really good spare this because some people just like everything to be complete don't they and have every single little part so let's just take that off put that screw there pull this up through here see how it just goes all the way around up to here because you don't need a choke you see the normal reason you wouldn't take one of these off is if you actually use this it had like a butterfly choke on like the honda videos i do but this one actually has a diaphragm and gasket and the primer bulb so there's no reason to keep this throttle on here at all so as i say i'm just going to take it off i've just taken this cable off here and there's uh, loads of broken parts inside actually this throttle that's probably why it didn't work but the cable itself is uh you can see here it's still in good order and that might seem like a bit of scrap to most people but believe me if you've got somebody who wants one of these and they'll, uh, they'll happily give you £10 for that I'll tell you now if they're £25 online I bet you I can sell that on eBay so I've taken that off I said no reason for it to be on I'll take all this sellotape off here as well not that it's going to make a lot of difference but it's just a bit of a mess you can see here this actually works fine this operates this kill switch at the back you see this cable at the back that moves See how that moves out of the way? That just moves the kill switch out of the way. That enables spark to go to the coil and then turn go to the spark plug, which is about 100 years old. But I'm going to sell this as uh, working. I'm going to sell it as obviously uh, a mess, hole in the deck. But you know, it, it only takes me five minutes just to sort a few things out. So I'm going to put a proper bolt back through there, make sure this recoil's on properly, and I'm going to make sure that that air filter's on properly. And this exhaust here. This has got the uh, like an older style round exhaust on the rectangular uh, exhaust. If I remember rightly, are uh, just quieter. I think the the idea of the newer ones, the, like the rectangular ones, if you like, that go all the way along there, are quieter. I believe these ones are louder. So if you want to make your lawnmower a little bit quieter, you might want to change it from this screwing round exhaust to the uh, the rectangular one, if possible. And don't forget, you you will need an exhaust guard as well. So I'll take these screws off here. I'm going to find a bolt for this and put it in. I'm going to stick this on Facebook Marketplace and I'm going to ask £20 for it. Yeah, that one here. Uh, I'm kind of just doing it as I go along this. I'm trying to film a few things that are kind of, you know, happening as I actually do them. Because I always think it's a bit more uh, realistic for people. I don't want to get a mess and everything. don't normally get in that much of a mess, but yeah, when I want a 10mm socket for that, I'm going to swap this over. And I don't mind doing this, I don't mind spending 10 minutes just um, taking a few bits off. We've got a 10 on there. This is a Halford socket set, 150 piece. I've actually linked on the uh, website, I've actually linked to a really good socket set on there on the recommended product page. I've actually just written an absolutely huge article um, entitled How to Make Money Selling Lawnmowers. It's the, uh, the longest thing I've ever written in my whole life, I think, but it's really worth a read. And it takes you through the whole process that I use all the time to repair these for profit. So if you went on Repair Almost for Profit website and read that article, you'd be doing me a huge favour. Right, so let me just see if I can get this off here. You know, people really do not care, do they, what they do? It's like, they really don't care. That's just terrible, isn't it? I mean, that's really bad, isn't it? To so just, you know... I mean, alright, you might not have the right, the right one, but to leave it like that's pretty poor, isn't it? You must make sure, by the way, when you're doing this, that this actual cable here runs through this notch. There's actually a little cut out there that it runs through. If it doesn't, you can trap it and it will break it. So, just take that over there. I'm just tighten this up. Always keep these little spares. See, even this would have been handy for just some spares. If I hadn't have had anything else, I would have been able to take these little parts out and take the screws and springs and cables and pull cord handles. Just all sorts of little bits I could have taken off. So yeah, I've just tightened that up as well. See what it's like round here. Should be one round here as well. You see this one? On there. There should be one here as well. And you have to check this. And although that isn't the right, actual right part, this carb's on nice and straight. It's not moving about or anything. And it's actually got the one in the front. So just a quick video, as I say I'm going to list this on Facebook Marketplace, this is all I'm going to do with it, I'm going to try and get £20, I really hope you like what you've seen here and I've kind of done it as quick as I can, I'm going to go in for my tea now, so I'm going to try and sell this for £20, thanks for watching, please subscribe, rate or leave a comment, whatever people like to do on YouTube these days and I appreciate you watching, 
thanks for taking the time and I hope this helps a few people out who are uh, you know, looking to get started repairing lawnmowers for profit this would be an ideal starting point, any engine like this really easy to service, all the details and all the service requirements you might need to learn are on the, uh, are on the website at repairlawnmowersforprofit.com thanks for watching, see you again next time